Welcome back to Collected Bowls, and today we're going to do a buyer pass on the Clone Troopers, Jesse and Vince Vaughn. Vince Vaughn, man, how can you not? Before we start, we're going to go ahead and say give a thumbs up to the video. The thumbs up helps us a lot. Thumbs up anywhere you want to put it. Thumbs up in your, um, you know, you know, wherever you want to put this, you can put it. It's yours to decide. Don't hold back. Put it wherever you want. Today we're going to be looking at Clone Trooper Jesse first, because Jesse is amazing. It's basically everything we wanted from Hot Toys to make. Uh, now a lot of people are saying, hey, you know, this guy is a reissue. Let me go over the price and then so you can start looking at the pictures. 285 and October 2022 release date. Now, people are saying, you know, 285 that's a little bit high, but give it some breaks because we do have a little bit more going on in the armor. This is a this is an ARC Trooper. ARC Trooper is going to have a little bit more. You have this stuff going throughout, this gun holster, pistols, dual blasters, um, this chest piece, more, more stuff going on. And they have uh, a truck. He got hit by a truck. I mean, I, I've gotten comments about that already. He's got tire marks on his head. Um, for the Republic, literally stamped onto his face. You can't get any more extremists than that. Clone troopers, you, you can't just, you can't deny them. So, like I'm saying, Hot Toys is delivering, um, as far as the reissue problem goes, this is not the reissue problem. This is a new release. With clones, it's not like the people saying, ah, oh, the Iron Man, you know? The Iron Man is, uh, keep on reissuing, and people get mad when they do that, but when they reissue a clone, it's not, but this, to me, is different, you know, they're Iron Mans that you literally reissue from the Mark I War Machine to, um, the, uh, Mark I War Machine, again, literally the same thing, and let me take a break right here, and let me say, comic concepts, good guy, Josh, if you're watching this, he's a good man, I really like him, I like him a little bit too much, He's a good guy. So check out the website. I highly recommend and I highly acknowledge you guys on this website. It's beautiful. Pricing is amazing. Shipping is cheap. Things get there early. No worries. It's it's a great site. So with that being said, comic concepts, check them out. So back to Jesse, we have more of the art trooper. You have a differentiated look than what we've been getting with Rex and Cody. Obviously, the ARC Troopers have a little bit more going on with the holsters and the um, ammo pouches and the comma is not the comma we got with Rex. It's a more of a... Rex was more of a microfiber comma. This one is more of a leathery, pleathery, finally type comma. Uh, I guess to show that, um, Rex did have a more cloth look. They have more of a leather look. So that's that. Um, as far as everything else, I'm glad we're getting it. The pricing to me is adequate. I think the pricing is adequate for an ARC Trooper with all the added bonuses of an ARC. And then on top of that, a beautiful head sculpt. We know this. We've come to know that these head sculpts are perfect from Hot Toys because of Cody and Rex now. And with Jesse, it's just a matter of time before getting it and saying, oh, it's perfect again. So that's going to happen. Everything about this figure, um, I absolutely love the posing Hot Toys is doing with their promo picks. Look at this. This pose is being stolen. Absolutely love this. Um, this guy's armor, to me, I think, I feel as though his armor is more of a satin finish. Um, other clones we have like Cody or Fiber First or even Coruscant Guard have a more of a matte finish. This guy has a bit of a sheen. A bit of a Charlie Sheen going on. I want to say it's a satin finish, but I can't get it. I can't get it out. Rex, you guys remember my Rex review? He was a bit of a green tone. This guy is green here. So, for you guys, that is intentional. I guess it wasn't just mine. It was everybody's. And this guy's white is very different. But the weathering, hands down, I have to say, look at the weathering up close. They're stepping it up, stepping it up, stepping it up. All throughout, you can see. They're stepping it up every time they release a clone. Every nick, nook, nook, and cranny, and whatever you want to call it, is amazing. I'm, I'm hoping they fix this pauldron, right here. You see where Rex ended? His came out, and it painted it blue all the way down throughout his pauldron. I hope they fixed it because in the promo pics, it's fixed. You can see there's a definite outline that's where it's supposed to be painted and Rex had it throughout the whole pauldron. So that's gonna be a little bit of quality control if they fix that. You can see here, there's a slight, slight notch. You can see that's the end of it right there, the indention, the embossedness that comes out. And then there's this part that's supposed to be black and it's not. Little nitpick, but if they can correct this stuff, even better. Like I said, it comes with a little bit more of a six feet, 
which is the holograms with Hot Toys knows how to get us with these little paper clips. You remember those little paper clips you just flip upside down and it looks like a L A T? L A A T? A lat? Um, I think it's a hologram of a paper clip. And an Emperor Palpatine. So, um, I'm glad Hot Toys is fixing up the 501st as they're going along. I'm glad that they're doing stuff for us as far as 501st Regiment goes and, and completes. I absolutely love it. Like the Vince Vaughn thing we're going to look at next. We're going to look at both in one video. So it comes with a base. A little bit weathered down Death Star base. I love these bases, but I would expect something different being that the Clone Trooper Clone Wars releases. Like these are a little step up. So I want a little bit epicness from them, but then the price is going to go up. So I'm willing to work with them here. I'm willing to work. Other than that, this little magnetic backpack of the ARC Troopers. We usually get these monoculars and these blasters and the short blaster that he has. I think for 285, it's 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 doable. I think for 285 with the amazing head sculpt for a clone like this, amazing weathering and paint apps, and it's it's beautiful. So with that being said, this is a must buy. I can't get around people who saying this is not just too expensive. This is good. Yeah, but you have to understand the quality of Hot Toys. I think it's going up. I think it's improving, and I think this is the time. I think this whole year of 20, I want to say 2022. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a good year for Hot Toys. Now let's go over to um, Vince Vaughn. Now, comic concepts. If you do stick with me, stick with me. We'll have them up shortly, so do be patient. And Vince Vaughn, 250. This is a Com Commander Cody uh, variant. Yes, a lot of his armor is being used. Same release time, same everything. Um, looks like Sideshow put up their pictures but I want to go through Hot Toys's. So they're releasing uh, a little bit of a reissue, reuse here, but I want to say that it's not a reissue. Oh, there, there's Batman. I might go over this depending on if they actually show us the accessories to be revealed because it's kind of the same thing we had. I don't want to go over reissue so much because y'all know how it is with my reissue problem. Captain Vince Vaughn. Absolutely lovely man right here. This is obviously a reissue of armor with Cody you have the same uh, rank badging you have the same armor on his shoulders you have the sh same helmet yeah same helmet and different colorations um, so for this being almost the same price as I, I want to say it was the same price. how much is Cody two something but it's about the same price as Captain Rex which is which is agreeable at this at this point it doesn't come with a head sculpt and which I don't absolutely amazing posing, beautiful photography from Hot Toys on the promo shots. I don't want to say we didn't see his head sculpt, or, well, his unmasked portrait in the show, so it doesn't matter because you can use multiple clones that we're getting. We have Rex, Cody, whoever you want to put on there. You have anyone you want to put on. You can put it on. And you can design and make any scene you which want. The 501st is being completed. Now, I'm waiting on Commander Fox. Commander Fox is probably going to be the next drop. <sighs> please. Please. Uh, I see them co completing kind of this 501st Legion. And if they do Fox, these hot toys are going to be such holy grails when they sell out. It's going to be something. Uh, I already see people saying, like, hey, we're getting multiple. You can see more of what I'm talking about here. As the blue comes all the way down, it doesn't stop at the uh, embossed part. And over here, it's all perfected. So that is it's good upgrades. Good upgrades. But you can see the nice weathering. They have heavy weathering on these guys now. They're not afraid. I realized they were kind of afraid with the... Um, I'm not looking at you guys. I'm sorry. I'm getting too lost in my freaking clones. I've been I've been noticing they've been kind of happy weathering with them. They kind of went in with the five of first clones, as you can see here. It's not as heavy, and with particular figures, I guess you would put more weathering. And so, but look at all that figures like uh, previous figures like um, Inferno and Incinerator Trooper, something like that. Inferno, Dante's Inferno. That stuff used to be pretty hard, light, very lightly weathered. But um, I mean, it would sh it would be show accurate. But this, this guy is absolutely amazing. The, the design and everything is absolutely amazing on this guy. So it's a must-buy. It's a must-buy on Vince Vaughn. Obviously, we have Ahsoka and Rex. Holograms, because that's how Hot Toys gets us, is with the uh, holograms. And I think 250 for the price is adequate. No head sculpt. 
but you can add one if you wanted an aftermarket piece or whatever you want. A little jetpack booster right there. Two blasters, hands, and the holograms, and the regular Death Star base. Same time frame release. I think these two are both best buys. Circuit City. Anybody remember Circuit City? I used to go there, and then it shut down. That's sad. I don't know where Best Buy came from. It used to be Circuit City. But um, other than that, the figures, it's great. It's great. I love everything about the clones. These clones are taking over. You have people saying, hey, where's the droids? Where's the, you know, um, stuff like that. I got to calm them down because, you know, Hot Toys got to deliver for everyone. And it's not only Star Wars. I, I, I know you guys like to keep it here on only Star Wars. But, oh, my God. Look at this posing. That's beautiful. It'd be nice to have these posed on top of a little pedestal. Each individual figure, like, throughout your room. It'd be a lot of space. But pretty cool. Space. Star Wars, get it? Batman. He, he loves you. Look where he is. There. So, with that being said, it's must-buy for everything. Like I said, please comment down below your thoughts. Anything. Your likes. Your, your don't-likes. And uh, I want to I give you guys a hint at the end of videos. I think Ahsoka is going to drop anytime this week or next week. What else? Hmm. Anything else? No, I think that's it. Because we are buying clones. Dun, 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 dun. So, like I said, leave a like. And sharing is caring. Karen sharing is caring. So, with these two releases, surprised by Hot Toys. To put two, 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 two. In a certain time frame, you know? I like it. But it should be easy for them. It's a bunch of reused parts, right? Easy. We say that so easily. Easy. Easy. Okay. I'll see you guys later.